Are you looking for a great Catholic novel, looking for something in historical fiction? Well, I'd like to encourage you to get my book, Sword and Serpent. It's the first in a series of books. It's a historical fiction novel uh, in the context of Constantine and Helen and the conversion of the Roman Empire from paganism to Christianity. And I wanted to write a book that was not preachy, you know, it didn't talk about, well, you know, you need to love Jesus. And I wanted something that was full of action, full of dirt, full of mud, military, martyrdoms, blood, challenge, with the subtle conversion of key characters. And the main character in this series is St. George. You probably know the legend of George and the dragon. And I want to take that myth, that legend of George and the dragon, and place it in its historical context, which is the year AD 299, and tell the story of a young man who's trying to figure out the world and trying to figure out his life and his suffering. And yes, at the end of the book, he does meet a dragon, but it's maybe not exactly as you would expect it. So I would encourage you to check it out. You know, Get it on Kindle, get the paperback, read it. You can go to Amazon and read reviews. There's several hundred reviews. Almost all of them are five-star positive talking about how much they love the book and how they loved finding these hidden Easter eggs of Catholic saints that I have hidden throughout the entire book. It is a series. Um, the second book is now finished at the editors, and it continues this arc of the life of Constantine through the eyes of a young man, St. George. And it has dozens and dozens of saints who are woven throughout it. For example, St. Catherine of Alexandria, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, the patron of children, St. Blaise, and many others that you'll recognize. I don't want to give them all away. It's kind of a surprise you go through the book as they meet these people who are just, you know, salt of the earth, normal people who go on to become great saints and great martyrs. So if you're excited about historical fiction and you'd like to have something that represents our faith, it is gritty. Um, there is violence in it. So I recommend, you know, maybe younger children below the age of 14 or 15, you might need some parental supervision, but it's clean. You know, there's nothing raw or raunchy or explicit um, or inappropriate in the book. It's ultimately a book about gaining virtue and the journey that we go through in this life. So please check it out. It's called Sword and Serpent, and you can get it at Amazon.com. We'll put a link up where you can go and check it out. So thanks so much. And for all those that have got it and have read it and left great reviews, thank you so much. If you have read it, please do me a favor and go to Amazon.com and leave a review. I read every single one of them and I respond to many of them. So thanks so much for your support of the book. And if you haven't read it, please get it. Thanks again for watching and God bless you.